Welcome again, everybody, to the 2022 FIBA Africa Women's Champions Cup. Day two of group action, and today we set our focus to the Group A action between Interclub and Costa do Sol. I'm Aaron Sanders. I'll be providing the play-by-play -play for you for this match, and I hope you have been enjoying your day and enjoying the action here in this tournament. Had a very, very interesting set of games to kick off the Champions Cup yesterday as Costa de Sol was able to pick up their first win, 69 to 51. They want to make it two in a row. We hear the starting lineups being introduced for both clubs. We'll get to that in a moment. And that's right, welcome back to the FIBA Africa Women's Champions Cup from Maputo. Day two of action here. Group A is in the spotlight right now as Interclue is set to face off against Costa do Sol. Aaron Sanders once again with you, providing the play-by-play -play for today's game. And two games already in the bag in day two. Take a look at those scores later on into the broadcast. Starting lineups just wrapping up here. Sporting defeated ASC Vilda to Car 66 to 50. That was one game. And in the second game, CNSS defeated Energy BBC 77 to 54. Tip off coming up in just a few moments. Well, we get ready for Interclou versus Costa do Sol. Let's take a quick look at some stats before we tip things off in Maputo. And based on the one game Interclou has played, they have the advantage from the shooting range. They shot 50% to the field compared to Costa do Sol's 39. Very well, they shoot inside the range 51.5 from downtown the three-point range 47.6 percent however their free throws have to improve especially in this stage of the competition they shot 40 percent from the charity stripe meanwhile Costa to Seoul with the advantage from the free throw line shooting 52.6 percent now the other stats Costa to Seoul was able to Snag 47 rebounds in their first game of competition yesterday. Interclube with 37. The one thing to consider coming into this game, too, that 18 of those 47 rebounds from Costa de Sol were offensive rebounds. Interclube with a 76 to 50 win against KPA earlier in the competition. And we mentioned Costa de Sol defeating CNSS 69 to 51. Interclube is in second place in Group A, and Costa de Sol right under them in third place. Technically, you could consider that a tie for second place. Here are the starting lineups for Costa de Sol. They're going to be starting off with Havguan, number two, followed by number three, Mukaro, number four. Bride Kennedy Hope, number six Nilza Chinziane, and number 13 Elizabeth Pereira. Yes. 
That's the starting lineup for Costa de Sol and the head coach, as you see on your screen, Lionel Melnique. And Interclude starting lineup right on your screen. We're going to start off with Alexis Tolfree, Sharice Williams, Italy Lucas, pay attention to her, Rosa Gala, and Christina Maquette. And Interclubes head coach Julian Martinez. Italy Lucas coming into the second game of this Champions Cup. Leading score for Interclube with 17 points. Marikite had eight rebounds in the first game. This is going to be a good game, and we're glad that you're able to tune in and watch it wherever you may be. And there is more action coming up in the next few days. The African Women's Champions Cup continues up until next Saturday, the 17th. This is only day two. Can you imagine how much action you're going to get if you stay with us? Clubs hitting the court as it's time for FIBA basketball. And Interclube has won the tip. Here's Italy Lucas driving down to the basket and it's taken away. And now Costa de Sol on the move. Elizabeth Piera running the offense. She gets the ball back right on over to Aveguan. Shot is off, rebound by Kennedy Hopiate and she puts it up and in to get the scoring going. Forty seconds into the game, and another turnover, and it's taken away. Close to the soul on the move. Havanguan finding Mukaro. That's off the mark. They're putting it right back in. Was Chizain. Nilza Chizain makes it four nothing. Offensive foul called as the ball will go the other way as Bride Kennedy was able to hold her ground right beneath the basket. Costa de Sol, two quick field goals. As Kennedy has it up top, she'll go for the three and knocks it down. Seven nothing, Costa de Sol. Courtesy of Nilsa Chizain and Bride Kennedy's baskets. Foul underneath as Interclube finds himself in a hole early in this game. A minute and 25 seconds have gone by, and free throws are coming up for Christina Marquit. First free throw goes off the top iron. 
Live from Maputo, this is the FIBA Africa Women's Champion Cup. And Matakit splits the pair. First time the Champions Cup has been held in three years. Another three from Kennedy. That one doesn't fall for her. And she gets the ball right back. However, she took too many steps. And Interclude will get the ball back. This is the first time the Africa Women's Champions Cup has been held in three years. The last two years, they have been unable to play. The three doesn't go. Seven to one is the score as we're almost two minutes in. Once again, thank you for tuning in here. Day two of action here. And if you want to see more content and matches like this, be sure to subscribe to FIBA all over on the social media platforms. Back to live action. Here's Italy Lucas driving down to the lane. Finds an open, finds an open player inside. Williams could not get the shot to go in a shot clock violation. Too much time trying to find an opening right down to the post. And it costs us interclude the ball. 7.52 remaining in the first. Both clubs won their opening matches in this tournament. Kennedy almost lost control of the ball. She gets it back. Trying to find a cutter, but it's taken a lay. Here's Lucas on the move. Lucas for three. They'll count that as a long two. That doesn't go. And Medikeet with the rebound and draws the foul. So Medikeet and Gala fighting for the rebound. And Medikeet knocks down the first. At the moment, she's two of three from the charity stripe. Make that three of four. So all three points have come from Matikeet as she cuts the deficit to four. Goes to DeSoul with the lead and the ball. Almost was taken away. There's a nice cut for the fadeaway. Rattles around the rim and off. Enter Soul, and Costa de Soul wanted to travel on that. They will not get it. Outside, Williams for three, off the mark. Nice find. And once again, finding answers on the other end was Costa de Soul as we take another look at that nice cut to the basket from Nilza Chizain. Nilza Chizain now at the line. Substitution from Interclue. And Chizain completes the three-point play. 10 to three is the score in Group A action, day two. Interclube with some ball movement. They were shoved out of bounds. Foul on the play. 14 seconds on the shot clock. And Lucas knocks down the triple. They have to get in some sort of a scoring groove if they want to make this a fierce competition. Here's Kennedy down to the lane, off the mark. And back comes Interglue. Lucas finding Manuel, who checked into the game not so long ago. Here's breakaway for Makaro. So Makaro found Havangwan for the easy bucket. 
Back the other way, here's Gala. The first layup, no good. And this is the kind of action you would love to see in the early stages of the game. Battling right down to the basket, fighting for the boards. And you want to run that up early or else you will not have an opportunity and you'll have to stay stagnant on those outside shots. Matakit misses the first free throw. Christina Medikit, three points to her name, make that four. So now Costa de Sol with a 12 to six lead. And Andrew Klub is able to take the ball again. Lucas on the drive. I'm, my mistake, that was toll free. Toll free knocks it down, nine points now as the deficit has been cut to three. Rafael finding Mukaro. Mukaro in trouble. Breaks through the double team. Back to Bright Kennedy. Almost taken away, shot clock winding down. They'll have to put it up and it goes out of bounds. And Interclube closing up on the defense as substitutions are being made. We are halfway in to the first quarter. Toll free, two passes later. Matakit puts it up, no good. And another foul is called. We check the replay. And it's Matakit with the foul. Nice pick from Carla Colvain. Foul this time on the other end. And that's all. That's how both teams are able to get baskets as Pereira is sent to the line. And enter Klub with a substitution. Elizabeth Pereira off the mark for the first. Let's able to get the second free throw down. 13 to nine is the score, 432 remaining here in the opening quarter. Andrew Klub has trailed since the opening tip. Here's Lucas for three. Rebound, Mukaro. Here's Pereira. Pereira with the nice screen from Kovain. Down in the corner, the three is good. The three is good for Mukaro. Matches her jersey number, makes it 16 to nine. Interclue back at it, here's Malagi. Shot is short. However, it was last touched by a player from Costa de Sol, which means Interclube will get the ball back. Eight seconds on the shot clock, and they find an open Rosa Gala, who makes easy work out of it. Nice cut down low to the basket. And that's one of those threats you have to be concerned about if you are defending off the inbounds pass. Bright Kennedy, she has five, make that seven, as she's able to knock the J down from the right side. Seven points, one board for Bride Kennedy. Outside three is good. My goodness, Alexis Tolfi 
with no fear heading into this game. Talk about getting buckets. Cutting right down was Avon Gwain. Picks up the foul. And free throws will be coming up after this timeout. The score at the moment, Costa de Sol 18, Interclub 14. And you're watching the 2022 FIBA Africa Women's Champions Cup. We return to Maputo as Costa de Sol has an 18 to 14 lead over Interclube and Costa de Sol off to the line and Aluteria Havanguain is at the line and misses the first. Both of these clubs won their opening match in this match, in this tournament rather. As Jessica Malagi was tied up in the possession arrow, points to the way of Costa do Sol, who have been on a scoring tear since the opening tip and bad pass. As McCarl has to pick it up, backcourt violation. Less than three minutes here in the third in the first quarter. Costa de Sol. Well, in any event, Andrew Klub with the ball again. Driving right down the lane was Nadir Manuel. She wasn't able to get that shot to go, but on Costa, Coast turns. Ingvild Mukaro going from one end of the corner to another, thanks to a nifty pass, was able to cut to the basket. Here's Toll Free, another three off the front. And it's recovered. Toll Free behind the back pass. What a nifty pass! as Jessica Malagi is able to take it care of business. 20 to 16 the score. Evangue finding Bride Kennedy. And they turn the ball over once again. So this opens the door just a bit for Interclube who have fought their way right back into the contest. And now Chelsea Raphael checks in. For Costa. As they find their lead dwindling away, toll free with another crack at it from downtown. But she can't get it. Day two of action here in the Africa Women's Champions Cup from Maputo. Kennedy 
Back to the line she goes. Not only Kennedy is effective in terms of scoring, but she could provide those assists as she was able to pick up three of them in the opening match yesterday. She's unable to connect on the first free throw. The biggest lead in this game so far was seven. And Bride Kennedy, hope eight, splits the pair. 21-16 with a minute and 35 seconds remaining in the opening quarter. Here's a key matchup. And here's Chasia Antonio back to Tolfrey outside. The shot off the mark for Malagi. Here's Coastal Soul going coast to coast. Kennedy is open. Instead, they get the cross court pass away and a triple. Infield Mukaro gives Costa their biggest lead today. Final minute in the first. Tolfrey, the jumper doesn't fall. Kennedy, the rebound. On the fast break was Chizier. And they slow things down. They want to get a playoff. All give and go inside to Havangwe. Mukaro to Avangwe, and now the lead has blown up to double digits. Foul just close to half court with half a minute to go. Free throws coming up for Interclue. And this time it will be Antonio at the line. And the tap dancer does not go. Took some time on the basket, but did not find its way down the net. Neither did the second one, as Mukaro is able to rush it down the court. Avangwe slowing things down. There's a four second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Mukaro back to Havangwe. Bucaro, Chris passes, and someone hits the deck. We're down to the final seconds. If the ball gets battered away, we'll stay with Interclue with four and two tenths to go. In another stoppage of play, they will do it over. From the sidelines, here's Tolfrey. Final seconds, the pop-up shot is no good for Agostino as the first quarter comes to an end. After the first 10 minutes of play, Costa de Sol leads 26 to 16 over Interclue. Back for the second quarter in a moment. This is the FIBA Africa Women's Champions Cup. I'm Aaron Sanders.
Back here for the second quarter between Interclube and Costa de Sol. As Costa de Sol heads into the second quarter with a 10-point lead. As we apologize for the audio issues, the jumper is good. Not a bad start as Italy Lucas is able to get the J to go. Aaron Sanders on the call for today's matchup. Underway here in the second quarter. Another corner three. This time doesn't go for Costa de Sol as Lucas is able to run the floor. They slow it down and Costa de Sol went to a 3-2 and now they're at a 1-4. Defensive stance as Antonio throws it up and draws the foul. The free throw woes continue for Interclue. As they have been unable to knock them down. Same can be said for Costa de Sol. Both of these clubs shooting just about 40% from the charity stripe. The ball will stay with Interclube as they try to find themselves right back into this ball game. Manuel backing down her defender. That shot doesn't fall. And with that offensive foul, the ball will go the other way. Just started the second quarter. And day two of Group A action in the FIBA Africa Women's Champions Cup from Maputo. Here's Kennedy, no looker, and it's taken away. Here comes Rosa Gala with daylight. Resorts back to Lucas. Lucas drives it in herself, but not before a foul. So one more look at this at the replay. And the offensive foul, Bright Kennedy was tangled up. And they were able to get the ball back. Kennedy had the hot hand in the first quarter. Nice side step inside from number 21, Carla Covain. Foul on the play, and Malagi will have a seat for the time being. Kennedy gets the inbounds pass. Havangwe dishes it out outside. The corner three is off the mark. Put back, no good. Loose ball on the floor, and where is it going to go? It looks like it will stay with Costa do Sol. Let's take a look at it. And Italy Lucas went down on the floor. And Mukaro was underneath it. Well, they did say Interclube touched it last. So this is right off the inbounds pass as Eduarda Gabriel gets called for the foul. So we will do it again. Here's Kennedy. A little hesitation from Raphael. 
And it looks like the ball will go the other way. Things are getting aggressive. Here in the opening minutes of the second quarter. As Vaccaro is unable to get the free throw down. Both of these clubs haven't been faring well at the line. Vaccaro knocks it down. Substitutions. Coming now as Tollfree checks in once again for Interclue. We played two minutes in the second quarter. Costa de Sol leads 27 to 18 over Interclue, who has not had a lead since the game has started. Here's Tollfree with the jumper off the mark. Eduardo Gabriel with the rebound, and the bucket is no good for Tollfree. Was able to find herself to get on the other side. Ball goes back to Costa de Sol. Nine-point game as Havangwain brings it up court. Nice behind the back pass to Makaro, who misses the three. And the putback is no good for Raphael, but no matter as she's going to get herself ready for the free throws. And Raphael gets the first free throw to go. Makes it 28 to 18. And gets both of them to drop. Matter of fact, those are their first two points of the contest. Costa de Sol now shooting 54.5% from the charity stripe. Toll free from downtown. Goes off the top. Rafael the rebound. And they bring it up court. Avonguain challenging toll free. Interclube was in a 1 3 1. Rafael inside for two. So Rafael with four quick points in less than 30 seconds gives Costa de Sol a 13 point lead as Interclube turns the ball over. Matter of fact, they did not. They will stay with Interclue. Quick pass inside of Illy Lucas through two defenders. Can't get the jumper to fall. She's around five or six feet away from the basket, but that double team really did some damage. As she was unable to get a good shot off. Avongwe, Kennedy open. Instead, down low to the post was Covain. Carla Covain knocks down her first two points of the night. 33-18 is the score. Six minutes away until halftime. Cassie Antonio flustered a little bit as she was able to make her way to the paint. And that's another foul. As Interclub will retain possession, that's going to be a foul on Mukaro. So Mukaro with the foul. Interclub with the ball again. The three doesn't fall for Lucas. And another break for, for Interclub. As Kennedy had the rebound, but turned it over all at the same time. Here's Lucas. Gets the screen from Marikit. Here's Tolfrey. As she heads to the line. And 
Tolfrey with a double pump. That's going to be a foul on Havangwein. As Makaro heads to the bench. Fourteen point game, the largest lead today. And toll free knocks down the second free throw. So toll free now has five, make that seven points. She was perfect from the line. And it's a turnover. And Eduarda Gabrielle was able to put it up and in. From all 90 feet of the court. Makes it a 33-22 ball game. Kennedy wide open. Instead, Avangwe took the triple from herself. It misses. My goodness, how about Italy Lucas maintaining the dribble and finding Tolfrey at the corner for three. Lucas was this close from getting a turnover, but she was able to keep her head down, maintain the dribble, and Tolfrey was there to bail her out. Kennedy inside to Evangwein. That shot is off. Tolfrey tripped up a little bit, and Evangwein not happy about that. That's going to send Tolfrey back to the line. No, it was not a shooting foul. My mistake. Look at Tolfrey. The way that she's been playing so far, you have to put the clamps right down on her. Yvonne Gwain tried to steal the ball from right behind, but that's the problem. You have to be careful with the contact and how you present yourself in an opportunity to steal the ball. You have to make sure that... You're close to your defender and able to steal it. Tolfrey for three goes behind the backboard and turns the ball over. Ball goes out of bounds. But again, going back on Hovangwe's foul, it's one of those situations where if your opponent's right in front of you by about six or seven feet, you can't recover in that situation. And she tried her best to take the ball away, unfortunately. She slapped the hand as Tolfrey was driving right past the timeline. And Kosa to Seoul has the ball with 4 19 left in the half. Rafael. Shot is denied as Pereira tried to cut inside to the hoop. In the meantime, Nadir Manuel checked in earlier. The timeout called by Costa de Sol. They are up by eight, 33 to 25. Okay, a look inside the huddle during this timeout. Largest lead so far was 14. It has been all coasted a soul since the opening tap. Now they find their lead cut to eight with 4.12 left. In the half, seven seconds on the shot clock. Costa de Sol will have the ball. And they'll inbound it underneath the basket. Carla Covain into the game for Costa de Sol. She provides the inbounds pass to Chizane. Down to three on the shot clock. Covain gets the ball back, drives right upside, hits it off the glass. It's off the mark. 
And Interclube thought it was a shot clock violation. They said, nope, play on. As Eduardo Gabriel cuts in the basket, nice no looker inside. The shot is off for Manuel. And the tussle for the ball regained by Gabriel. Here's Tolfrey, denied. She had too many free opportunities down at the corner, and Costa del Sol was able to read upon that right away. There's Macaro, almost lost control of the ball, cuts right inside of the left side, right of the free throw line. Here's Rafael, driving right to the basket, through everybody, gets it off the front, but can't get it to drop. Here's Antonio with the ball. And it's deflected and taken away by Mukaro. Good hustle from the other end. Dribble drive off the mark. And another foul as Raphael slipped right after taking the layup as Alexis Tolfrey comes up with the foul. Rafael at the line knocks down the first free throw. Rafael now has five points. Perfect from the free throw line. And I jinxed it. The broadcasters jinx, they say. I shouldn't have said that. She has five points nonetheless. And the lead has expanded to nine. Costa de Sol shooting 48% from the field. Interclube not faring well, shooting almost 29%. They head back to the line. Gabriel misses the first free throw. This is her first trip of the line. Two points in almost five minutes and 30 seconds of action. She has two rebounds and a foul along with a steal. Knocks down the second free throw, makes that 34 to 26. As we approach the final stages of the first half, and the cut inside pays extremely well as Carla Covain is able to knock it down. Four points for Covain, along with three rebounds, an assist, and a steal. Here's the pull up jumper. That's off the mark for Lucas. Both clubs have to be careful about getting into the penalty in the crucial stages of the second quarter. As we go back the other way for free throws. It's been a matter of converting them for both of these clubs as Maccaro lets the first one go and knocks it down. And the second one goes as Macaro has 11 points. She leads all scorers right now with Alexis Tolfrey from Interclube, second leading scorer with 10. She's also in the lineup. Here's Antonio on the drive, and it's taken away by Raphael. And she was able to draw the foul. Enderklub a little hasty. And that was well indicated from the steal. So Rafael's back to the line and misses the first. She's now three of five from the free throw line. She has five points. Only one field goal. Yet, she's been effective with five rebounds, an assist, and a steal. A 
Makes that six points for Raphael. She's the second leading scorer for Costa de Sol as we are two minutes away from the break. Antonio has it taken away. Costa de Sol on even strength. Another three doesn't go as Raphael snags down the board. Ricaro finding Raphael, and they missed that one. Toll free with the hesitation, the teardrop, no. And we have a foul off the screen. We will find out, yes, it is a technical foul on Alexis Tolfi. I had a feeling it was going to be a technical foul. It's, this game's gotten a little bit chippy, but this is something that you like to see in terms of competition. As Lucas checks out and Rosa Gala checks in for Interclube. A team that really has to turn it up in the second half. They are in a 13-point hole with a minute and 22 to go. So it goes to the soul, gets the ball back due to the technical foul. Tolfrey is able to take it away. Here they come with numbers. Antonio driving, retreats it right back to Gala. Antonio knocks down the triple. Kessia Antonio. And now there's a minute left. And well with the assist on the other end, by the way. It's taken away. Toll free. Everybody's hitting the deck. Toll free is hurt. And Gala brings it right back. And Toll Free is able to come right back on the other end of the court, shaken up there for a second. Nice post work from Manuel, but they weren't able to capitalize. 17 seconds to go. Shot clock and game clock nearly identical. Chizane is able to get the shot to go. Down to two, here's Tolfrey from deep, and hits! Alexis Tolfrey closes out the first half with a huge bucket from downtown. However, Costa de Sol goes into the locker room with a 41 to 32 lead over Interclue. Stay with us. We'll feature highlights from the first half of this game and break down the stats and facts when we return in just a few moments. I'm Aaron Sanders, and this is day two of Group A action in the 2022 FIBA Africa Women's Champions Cup from Maputo.
Aaron Sanders back with you in day two of the FIBA Africa Women's Champions Cup. You're looking at the round robin scores from day two of the action. This is the final game of day two, day three coming up tomorrow. We'll talk about that later on. Let's quickly talk about what happened earlier today. Alexandria SC defeating Asheville de Dakar 66 to 50. On top of that, ASB CNSS defeated Energy BBC by 23. And here, the final game of today's action. Costa do Sol leads Interclube 41 to 32. Stats and facts from the first half. My goodness. Interesting turnaround of events as Costa to Seoul ended up with 24 rebounds. Interclube with 17. Costa to Seoul shooting 48% from the field. And once again, Interclube has yet to take the lead in this game. The biggest lead was 14 for Costa to Seoul. That happened in the second quarter. However, both clubs really need to clean it up from the charity stripe. Costa to Seoul shooting 55.5% and Interclube shooting 50. 14 free throws, they've only made seven. Costa, out of 18 free throws, they have made 10. That's where we lie as we get ready for the third quarter. Once again, the score, Costa to Seoul 41, Interclube 32. I'm Aaron Sanders. About to start the second half here in this matchup. Leading scorer for the game, Alexis Tolfrey, thanks to that deep three in the dying seconds of the first half, has 13. For Costa de Sol, Ingville Mukaro with 11. Third quarter about to be underway. Nine point game. As mentioned prior to tip off, these two teams won their opening match yesterday. Somebody will go up 2 0, oh, the other will go 1 and 1 by the end of tonight. As Interclube starts the second half with possession. Tolfrey in the backcourt. Guarded by Pereira. And they immediately ship it off to Medikit, who draws the foul. Nine seconds into the third quarter. Madikit with four points, all of them coming from the free throw line. She's four of six. Make that five of seven. Toll free played all but under two minutes in this contest, believe it or not. Meanwhile, Madikit knocks both of them down. Five points to her name. 
as now Costa de Sol is on the move. Here's Kennedy with the three. So Bride Kennedy, Hoppy 8, with 11 points. It looked like she was going to pass it there for a second, yet she was able to knock it down as, told, as the jumper doesn't fall. Back comes close to the sole along with Bucaro. Here's Kennedy. Kennedy again feeding to Chizine, and that is off the mark. Right away, the shot is off as toll free finding Matakit once again. And this time, it is from beyond half court with that overhead pass. Very unfortunate for Chizane, who just picked up a foul. Matt Akita the line. Misses the first. She has six points. And she has the work for all of those points. So an unsportsmanlike foul was called on the play. And Interclube got the free throws and they get the possession once again. Here's Toll Free off the glass, no good. Overhead pass, and here's Mukaro on the move, finding Chizane. So Nilza Chizane brings the lead back up to 12. This Klub smells trouble. Corner three, no. And it was batted around and picked right back up by Gala. Who ships it inside to Manuel, who loses control of the ball, misses the bucket. Bullet passes, the shot clock winds down, in and out. Heartbreak City as it was so close from going right down, but it just rattles and gets out of there. We played two minutes here in the third quarter. Day two of action of the FIBA Africa Women's Champions Cup. First time this event has been held since 2019. The last two years, they did not play it due to the pandemic. And on the other end, Nilza Chizane is able to get the second chance bucket to go. And with her efforts, she's going to the line. But we have to admire the great setup from Ingvil Bukaro to set up Nilza Chizane. And she completes the three-point play. It's a 15-point game. Largest lead at the moment. And Matakit could not get the layup to go as she was challenged. And now she will head to the line. So a textbook high-low pass, which leads to the defenders going right down to the basket as Medikeet knocks down number one. Medikeet.
Gets the second one to go. She knocks them both down. 49-36. And Mukaro was able to get the foul as Rose Gala was the offending party. And got caught in the cookie jar. As close to the soul, gets it taken away. This is Manuel all alone. Makes it 49 to 38. Now both of these clubs have to be careful the way they handle the ball as Kennedy goes into traffic. with 6.55 to go. Another foul as Interclube makes some adjustments. Dear Manuel will have a seat. Now driving right down to the lane was Chilzane. She wasn't able to get that one to go. Another quick rebound from Mataki. Here comes Interclue. Tough fadeaway, Jay doesn't go. An 11 point ball game as we wind up the competition here in day two. The event is going on until next Saturday, the 17th of December. And a crisp pass, and it finishes off with Chizane once again on the receiving end of the bucket. He's nicely done on the offensive end. This is what happens when you have great ball movement. And Lucaro wanting an answer on the, on the foul. This game is far from over. A yeah, timeout called by Interclube with just under six minutes to go here in the third quarter. Costa de Sol leads as we head into break. Welcome back to Maputo as Costa de Sol, who has led all the way, has a 13 point lead over Interclue. Both of these clubs won their first match yesterday. And if things hold on, Costa de Sol may go 2 0. But remember, we have a little less than 16 minutes of action left in regulation. Anything could change now as the runner. Doesn't work for Matakit. But she's been doing exceptionally well in driving right down to the basket, taking the shots, and going to the free throw line. However, the free throws have been a factor, a negative factor for both of these clubs. They haven't been able to convert them as well as, as a lot of people expected them to do. Now, these are the early stages of this tournament. However, free throws have been a factor for Christina Medikit, who has made all of her points from there. Eight points now, if I'm not mistaken. We'll double check the stats on that one. 
But it is true, all of her points have come from the line. She has worked, had to work the work to get them the old-fashioned way. By taking those tough tumbles and going right to the basket, drawing the fouls and going to the free throw line. It's now 51 to 40 with close to the soul in the lead. Here's Kennedy at the hot end of the first quarter. And can she continue it? She can't. The putback is off the mark for Raphael. Whistle of the play. So right off the hop, Kennedy misses the rebound and pestering, pestering Matakit with Chelsea Raphael. This is like deja vu as Matakit <laughs> knocks down another free throw. Free throw is missed. And now here's close to the soul. As we go on the other end, and it's taken away. Here's Gala with daylight, but no bucket. Here's Lucaro darting right down the lane, loses control, goes for the three. And it rumbles and stumbles from the backboard down. as we approach the halfway mark in the third quarter. Here's Gala to Matakit. Matakit driving right into the lane, puts it up and in. And look at the full court pressure from Interclub. And it's broken. Eight-point game. Cross-court pass to Pereira. And they bring it on to the other side. The fake. The three from Macaro is no good as the shot clock goes off. They get another chance at it. It will reset a 14. Here's Kennedy, the fadeaway jumper. It's no good either. And Lucas with a behind-the-back dribble. And here's Malagi sizing up, going to the basket and is fouled by Kennedy Holtgate. So Winter Club looking to get back into this game by way of free throws. And they will have a couple of shots after the timeout. Day two of the FIBA Africa Women's Champions Cup. Winding down as Costa de Sol leads 51 to 43 over Interclub, who is at the line at the moment. Bride Kennedy Hobby fouled Jessica Malagi, who sizes up for her first free throw. It's good. But misses the second free throw. We approach the four minute mark in the third quarter. Raphael swings it to Makaro, in deep to Covain, and she steps on the line.
live from Maputo as Bride Kennedy Hobie gets subbed out. On the other end, it'll be Lucas driving right to the basket. And the foul. Free throw goes for Italy Lucas. And knocks the second one down. It's now 51 to 46. The lead's been the slimmest for the first time in a while. Down to 3.30. And Chelsea Raphael makes no business and wastes no time of going right down to the basket. 53-46. And the cut inside is no good. And I don't think that putback is going to count. Nonetheless, Inter Club will head back to the line. Usually they say basketball is a game of runs, but how about a scoring run from the free throw line? As Kennedy Hope checks back in for Costa do Sol. throw is good. 53 to 49. What was a 13 point lead has now been cut to four. Another corner three. It's off the mark. And here's Lucas running the floor for three. Doesn't fall. She'll have another crack at it. And puts it there. It is a one point game as Italy Lucas is finally into the groove with under three minutes to go in the third quarter. Now things are getting intense. Hope Aiden asking for the ball. Instead, they get it over with another cross-court pass. And Mucaro turns it over. Wasn't able to put the clamps on the ball. And now, Interclub is in good possession of taking their first lead in this ball game with 2.28 to go. We see Luisa Makoto checking in. A bigger front court for Interclub. You get a foul down low. And Malagi was just on the floor after a hit. We'll check again. Let's pay attention to the far right corner and that was her trying to take a screen. Nonetheless, that sends her to the line. And Malagi ties the game up at 53. There have been no ties in this game until now. And Malagi could be the one to give him the lead. And she does. Enter club with a 54 to 53 lead with under three minutes to go in the third. And Costa de Sol finds themselves in the back seat for the first time today. Avangwe. Over to Macaro. The three is no good. A nice rebound, but it goes off the side of the backboard for Havangwe. Here's Antonio, yes. So Cassia Antonio is able to get it down and now they are up 56 to 53.
Costa de Sol has been resorting to the corner in their last few possessions. This time they're able to go right into the hoop. First free throw is missed. The second free throw is no good for Havangwain. And who knows, it could be one of those crucial factors that may lead into the outcome of this game, no matter who wins or loses. And Malagi couldn't put the handles on it, it's taken away. Here's Pereira. They get it outside. The Euro. And the shot off the mark for Havangwain, but she's going right back to the line. Eliteria Havangwain. Misses the first free throw. That's the third straight free throw that Costa de Sol has missed. And Havangwe misses them both. Make that four. And Interclub up three. We're down to the final minute of the third quarter. Driving right down. Lucas off the glass and in. Italy, Lucas makes it a five-point game. Here's Pereira finding Havangwain. Another corner three. Short, way short this time. And Lucas brings it up court. They have slowed the tempo down, and it's working in Interclub's favor. They may go for a two for one. Shot clock down to nine. 18 on the game clock. Here's Lucas, sizes up for the three. Can't get it to go. Rebound down low from Makuto. And they'll do it again. Shot clock, game clock identical at nine seconds. Here's the crossover. Gala to the basket. Can't get it. Rebound, Malagi, and that's it for the third. And now Interclude in the driver's seat as they lead 58 to 53 over close to the soul after trailing for the majority of the game. There's only been one tie and one lead change. And you are looking at it right now. We'll come back for the fourth quarter in this final game of Group A competition of day two of the FIBA Women's African Champions Cup in a moment.
Welcome back to Maputo. We're about to start the fourth quarter, but unfortunately we had some technical difficulties in the last little while, but we see that they have been rectified and we are back to action. Fourth quarter begins. Quick recap, Interclub has not led throughout the duration of the game until the halfway mark of the third quarter. They are now lead 58 to 53 over Costa do Sol. And will that shot go? Talk about a tough shot. They're not acknowledging it on the scoreboard, so I don't think the basket counts, but it was a nice shot nonetheless. No, now they do, it counts. Hard work does pay off. As Malagi sizes up and completes the three-point play. After a tough circus shot like that, she's able to knock it down. 61 to 53 is now the score. Overhead pass to Ventura, and it's taken away. Here's Antonio. And they wanted to travel, and they will not get it. So this is Italy Lucas who will inbound the ball from underneath the basket. Is she going to try to find Gala? She doesn't find Gala. Instead, she finds Marikit. Marikit now to Gala. Driving through two defenders, gets it up and in. Wow. Brute force as she's able to go through both defenders like split doors in a shot. Their first double-digit lead in the ball game. Here's Ventura for three. Tough rebound from Antonio, who pushes the ball up court. Here's Molagi finding Marikit, and that's going to prompt a timeout from Costa de Sol, who finds themselves in a hole with 8.26 to go in regulation. A quick look at the stats while we have them at the moment. Christina Madikin has taken over the game with 15 points. Field goal wise, Inter Club shooting 37%. Costa de Sol shooting 41.3%. And their leading scorer off the bench, Nilza Chizain, with 14 points. At one point, Interclube was down by 15. Now they find themselves up by 12 with 8.26 to go in the fourth quarter. And now Costa de Sol is playing catch up. After leading for most of the game, they almost turn the ball over and they do. Here comes Interclub with numbers. This is a three on two as Gala goes to the hoop and did not score. It doesn't get any closer than that layup. As Herrera moves the ball around, here's Havangwe with a no looker and it's denied from Malagi. Malagi with the block right on time. As they look to capitalize much more. Down low, the fake, the spin, and the bucket is good for Matakit, who has been on fire in the last few minutes. 
And a key with now 17 points. Five rebounds to her name. Shot goes off the glass. Gala again over to Lucas. Lucas with a crossover dribble. The corner three short. Rebound, Malagi. There's a hard tumble to the floor from one of the Costa de Sol players. And that was Mukaro who hit the deck. Carl walking gingerly as Malagi checks out and Manuel checks in for Interclub. So close to the soul with the ball and the 14 point deficit they have to make up for, and it's a turnover. And Antonio takes it away, loses her defender. There's a three, put her there. And the three point rage continues. 70 to 53. Here's Pereira. Pereira up top to Macaro. They cut it deep to Chizane. Chizane kicks it back out to. Pereira who puts it up and tough shot. And back goes the other way. Lucas, one on one, loses control of the dribble, regains her dribble, tights rope to sideline, is able to feed it over to Antonio. Great balancing act as she found herself on her way out of bounds. Five on the shot clock, Gala in trouble. And it's taken away. Thanks to Ventura. And on the other end, they get the layup to go, courtesy of Inkville Mukaro, and that's a quick timeout for Interclub. Rapid fire action happening here in the final game of day two of the FIBA Africa Women's Champions Cup. This have turned into a game of runs as Costa de Sol slowly but surely finding their way back into the ball game as they find themselves down 70 to 55. As we are almost halfway in the fourth quarter. Live from Maputo. As we wrap up the competition for the day with this game. In a game where Interclub trailed until the final few moments of the third quarter. They find themselves now up 15. That's, that equals the largest lead of the game. And Lucas splits through the defenders and picks up the foul. And that is a tough task, taking on three defenders in order to go right down. And Lucas is the inbounds pass to Tolfrey, who's been quiet in the second half, but very vocal scoring-wise in the second quarter. And Bride Kennedy goes down and is able to pick up the offensive foul. The ball goes the other way. 
So Kennedy Hubby holds her own as she takes on the challenge of Christina Matiz. Yvonne Wayne with the screen from Kennedy Hopate. Here's McCarl for three off the front. And Lucas was there to pick up the board. Dear Manuel is in the game. Here's Toll free down at the free throw line looking for Manuel. She's got Manuel, goes for the jump hook off the mark. Second chance off the backboard, no good. And they were able to kick it right out. Toll free all alone for three. No good. So many opportunities for Interclub on that possession. And got nothing out of it. Quick rapid fire moves from Havangwe. Makes it 70 to 57. Manuel looking for a screen, doesn't get it. Instead, fires it over to Alexis Tolfree. She gets blocked. And they're going to go to the possession arrow off of that as both clubs appeared to have touched it right before it went out of bounds. And if they go to the possession arrow on this, and I believe they will, Meanwhile, toll free, heads to the bench. Yep, the possession arrow is with Interclub. On the next tie up, it will go to Costa de Sol. And they do not pay attention to the shot clock as it goes off a violation for Interclub. They thought they were going to have the shot clock reset to a full 24. That was not the case. So now Costa de Sol with the ball. And a 13 point deficit to make up in under four minutes. Here's the hop and the jumper is no good for Hovangwe. The putback is off the mark for Chizane. And Bride Kennedy taking yet another hit right beneath the basket. It works out in her favor as the ball goes the other way with 336 remaining in regulation. If Interclub pulls this off, this will be a huge win considering they were down 15 at one point of the game. Elizabeth Pereira finding Kennedy who pulls up and can hit it. Now it's a matter of running up the clock. As Lucas goes inside of the wing and throws it away. Here's Havangwain and finds a cutting Mukaro who misses it. Under three minutes now. As Gabrielle has the ball, now it's over to Antonio. Manuel at the top for Antonio. Sets the screen down the four on the shot clock. Here's Antonio, steps back and can't knock that one down. Manuel's there for the rebound. Spin move from Antonio as she gets knocked down. But that offensive rebound is huge on Interclub's side as they approach the 230 mark in the game. And to describe Interclub's play since avenging that big deficit earlier, it would have to be hustle. Lucas the inbound. And right down low, they find Matakit. Here's Gala. Gala has daylight on the left side, puts it up and off the mark, yet she will head to the line with 2.18 to go. 
Rose Gala with seven points as she prepares for her first trip to the free throw line tonight. Along with seven points, she has nine rebounds and two steals. She is on double-double watch. She's looking for a rebound and three points as she knocks down the first free throw. Three of five from the field, two of four, two-point land. Only made one three-pointer, and that's the only one she's taken from there. Make that nine points for Rosa Gala. Nine points and nine rebounds. She's a point and a rebound away from a double-double. And if I'm not mistaken, she would be the only one in the course of the game to have had a double-double in this game. Two minutes to go in regulation. Corner three doesn't work out. As Italy Lucas brings it up the floor. Manuel. Over to Antonio, back to Lucas. And they were able to swing the ball around right down low. But Matakid is unable to hit. Costa de Sol almost lost control of the ball. Now time is running out for them as they have to hustle. The double pump from Havangwain does not fall. As Antonio is able to pass it to the timeline over the Lucas. Italy Lucas with nine on the shot clock. Antonio, and they go right down deep to Manuel who throws it away. Now we're down to the final minute of the ball game and McCall's shot has been rejected. And it looks like Interclub will come up with the win here. All alone for the three short as Kennedy picks up the rebound and slowly brings it up court. It is a 15 point game. Three is off the mark. And both clubs are slowly bringing the ball down. Enter club after being down by 15. They are up by 15. They're going to go up 2 and 0 oh in Group A action. Costa de Sol drops to 1 and 1. As the shot clock is off for the final 10 seconds. And Inter Club prevails a big deficit. And they defeat Costa de Sol 72 to 57. Incredible game from both of these clubs. Leading score as we sign off today. Christina Mataki rising up with 17 points, seven rebounds, and change. That's the leading score for the game and for Interclub. For Costa de Sol, Nilsa Chizane with 14 points, eight rebounds, two steals, a block, and an assist. So now Interclub goes up 2 0 in Group A play. Costa de Sol drops to 1 and 1. And Interclub outscored Costa de Sol 40 to 16 in the second half. And that's the story. The final score, Interclub 72, Costa de Sol 57. Thank you for joining us in day two of group action in the 2022 FIBA Africa Women's Champions Cup. We hope you enjoyed it. And day three will continue tomorrow starting at 1 p.m. local time. I'm Aaron Sanders. Thank Mister, you for joining us, everybody. Como é que viu o desempenho das suas meninas neste duelo? Uh, acho que tivemos dois ou três períodos felizes. Uh, depois tivemos alguma dificuldade no que concerne aquilo que eles passaram, quando passaram para a zona. Uh, nenhuma bola dos três pontos nossos conseguiu entrar. Uh, tentamos montar todo tipo de estratégia, tanto para baixo como para fora, para ver se conseguíamos uh, desmachar a zona, a zona do Inter. Mas o Inter foi feliz porque nenhuma bola nossa estava entrada de fora e isso continuou, eh, eh, lhes deu a possibilidade de continuar fixos na zona. Acaba nós continuamos a trabalhar, uh, estamos num, num campeonato e vamos mudar um e outro aspecto que seja negativo para nós para ver se chegamos melhor lá.
Pois bem, ficam as palavras de Lionel Manique. Infelizmente, Enísio, procuramos puxar ali o pessoal do Interclube de Luanda aqui para uma conversa rápida, mas uh, não tivemos sucesso. A esta altura, a nossa equipa está a fazer um segundo teste neste sentido, mas uh, num primeiro contacto, o técnico da formação do Interclube de Luanda não terá se mostrado disposto para pelo menos falar neste uh, enfim, espaço que é excepcional que se abre aqui à televisão de Moçambique, porque logo a seguir a habitual conferência de imprensa contra os órgãos de informação. Enquanto isso, vou devolvendo a palavra para si, Anísio, se tivermos, portanto, a oportunidade de chegar à conversa com o técnico do Interclube de Luanda, voltarei a solicitar a atenção. Once again, the final score. Interclub 72, Costa do Sol 57. And now we leave you with some highlights of today's game and our thanks for tuning in. For more content and action, be sure to subscribe to FIBA on the social media platforms. And now this be Aaron Sanders wishing you a good day. Stay healthy, stay safe. Take care, everybody. So long. Thank you.